Here's how to fix assistive touch not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you're trying to use the assistive touch feature, but it's not working, the menu's not working, or it's just not doing what you expect it to do, I'll show you how to get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, on here, you can see this assistive touch bubble. I can move it around and I can tap on it. And it pops up with the basically options here, home, control center, notification, all of those different things. Now, if this isn't working normally, the first thing I would recommend doing is heading into your settings. We'll scroll down, tap on accessibility, and then tap on touch. Now at the very top is assistive touch. Let's go into that. And all you need to do is toggle this off and then wait a little bit and toggle it back on. This kind of resets the assistive touch and sometimes fixes any kind of issue. Now, you can also go in here and customize like the top level menu. You can choose to have different icons. Maybe some of these you don't want. You can always just remove some of them if say you just want four icons or you can hit reset and it resets it back to the default number of icons. Now, you can also go back here and you can see there are a couple other things like idle opacity. You can make sure that opacity is really high if you have a hard time seeing it or if it kind of disappears in a white background. Now, basically, you can go through this entire process and control and customize all of the assistive touch features here. But if it's still not working properly, the next thing I would recommend doing is going back here, all the way back, tap on general and software update. Just update to the latest iOS operating system. You can see I have iOS 18.2. So update your iPhone to 18.2 or later, whatever is current, and that will fix it. Now, if that doesn't fix it, the last thing you can do is just go back here. Let's tap on transfer or reset iPhone and reset. And we're gonna hit reset all settings. So go through the process of entering in your passcode here and choose to reset all the settings. This will reset the settings for assistive touch as well. And a lot of times get everything working normally so that it's functioning as you expect. If you go through this entire process and it's still not working, you can also just choose to at the very bottom hit shut down, turn off your phone and restart it. You'd be surprised how many times this fixes bugs or glitches on your iPhone, just shut it down and restart your iPhone. A lot of times this fixes issues that you might be having. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.